Hello YouTube, it's Supernova, back with more Falcon 4 BMS. Today we're looking at the fire control radars that track while scan mode. Verify that master arm is set to arm, and set master mode to air to air. Check that AIM120 armor arms are selected at option select button or OSB 6. We're viewing the left multifunction display, or MFD. The FCR is currently in range while search, or RWS mode. For more information on RWS, please review the previous tutorial. The link is available in the description. In RWS mode, radar contacts appear as search targets. Search targets provide information on altitude and their velocity vector, which is a representation of their speed and direction of flight. Search target positions are updated with each radar sweep. A track file is created when a search target is designated. To enter track while scan mode, which is also known as TWIS, press OSB2 or hold down target management switch or TMS right, which is shift page down by default. TWIS has the advantage that it can track up to 10 targets simultaneously while searching for others. The disadvantage is that it cannot search the same volume of airspace as RWS. Two scan patterns are available in TWIS, a 25 degree 3 bar scan and a 10 degree 4 bar scan. TWIS will form individual track files when it receives two radar returns within 6.5 seconds. As the radar does not pause on the track files while scanning, TWIS extrapolates target states between updates. Track targets are represented by coloured hollow squares. Search targets, which have less information, by plain filled boxes. To zoom in, press OSB3 to switch to an expanded view. Track files are prioritised by range and build order. When 10 targets are being tracked and a search target is designated, the lowest priority track file will be dumped. If a track file is not updated within 13 seconds, the track file will be dumped. Reasons for a track file being dumped include moving out of the current azimuth or elevation scan. If a radar return is not received at its estimated position, the track will turn from yellow to red. It will turn back to yellow if it is detected again within 13 seconds. If it is not detected again within that time, the track will flash red for the last 5 of the 13 seconds before the track file is dumped. Note that because track file positions are not continuously updated, target data is not as reliable as it is in RWS SAM mode when tracking a single target. Without a designated target, the azimuth scan is centered on the radar cursor and elevation is manually controlled. When a target is bugged, the azimuth is biased to maintain the target in the scan, and elevation is centred on it. If the antenna is tilted with the elevation controls, the bug will be dropped. You may designate or bug a target by moving the radar cursor over it and pressing TMS up, which is shift home by default, or by pressing TMS right to step through the track files in order of priority. A circle appears around the target to indicate it is bugged. The target's course and speed in knots appears towards the top of the display. Closure rate with the target is displayed at the top right. Pressing TMS up a second time will enter single target track or STT mode. STT will only track the designated target. All search targets and track files will disappear from the display, though the track files will continue to be extrapolated for 13 seconds. The lock STT provides is more accurate, but is likely to trigger the target's radar warning receiver. Pressing TMS down, which is shift end by default, will return to TWIS, the extrapolated tracks will reappear, and the target will continue to be designated or bugged. Pressing TMS down a second time will undesignate the target. A third command of TMS down will dump all track files and begin rebuilding them automatically and a fourth will exit TWIS and enter RWS mode. A further advantage of TWIS is that it can support up to six missiles in the air at the same time. To demonstrate this we will designate the highest priority target with TMS right, 
fire an AMRAM missile at it, then press TMS right to step to the next priority target and fire a second missile at it. Note that as each target is designated, the word WAIT is displayed towards the top of the display. The radar is attempting to identify the target by analysing its turbine signature, rather than airframe geometry. To do this, the target must be at a head-on aspect. If the target cannot be identified, unknown will replace weight. TWIZ will continue to update the missiles in flight until they become MPRF active. 1. Fox 3 long. One pitbull. One fox three long. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on Twiz. Feel free to like, comment and subscribe and I hope to see you again for the next Falcon 4 BMS video.